take a look at some knives I got around my shop, my little knife show and tell. And let's start with one of my favorite knives. And this is a, it stays in the kitchen. And it's just a regular 12 inch chef's knife with a black olive handle. It's got a little black G10 liners. And this is just a great kitchen knife. I've used it for quite a few years now. And it was kind of a takeoff on a Bob Kramer. Of course, I could never afford a Bob Kramer. So I thought, well, I'll make one. Make one similar to it anyway. And man, I really love the handle. The handle design that Bob came up with. And it works great. I've also got another blank when I made that one. I sent off a batch of knives to Peter's Heat Treat. And uh, I've got another one here that's ready to have a grind put on it, stick a handle on it. And that's, those are really great knife shapes. Uh, uh, I'm definitely gonna be doing another one. All right, let's look at another knife of mine that I made specifically for myself. And that's this big old Bowie, Bowie knife. And I always wanted a Nick Wheeler Bowie knife. And of course, I can't afford that, so. I just made one, and it's uh, 1084 carbon steel, start off quarter inch thick, it's got a 416 stainless steel guard, G10 liners, uh, that's a Caro walnut burl uh, handle, handle material, it's got the swedge cut into the tip, I really like that knife. Like I said, I'd like to have a Nick Wheeler, but that ain't gonna happen, so. Also, made a sheath for it. Gotta be careful, this thing's so sharp, I'll cut the, the tab off right there, but I'm not careful when I'm putting the knife in the sheath. All right, so there's my, my version of a Nick Wheeler buoy. All right, let's look at some knives that my nephew, my great nephew let me borrow. Uh, he's, he's a collector and he kind of got me started in knife making with his collecting interest. And this is a, an old Banette, I think it's called an M8 Banette. And uh, World War II, and this one's in pretty good shape in the, in the scabbard as well. Here's one, it's a old timer, sharp finger. Found that in a pawn shop. Nice little antique knife with original sheath. He likes some of the modern stuff too. There's a K bar of his. I actually made a sheath for it at one time and uh, he liked the original sheath, so I ended up selling the one I made. I'll put a picture of it up in the corner. Here's one of my favorites of his collection. His uncle, great uncle, gave this to him. It's a Buck Kalinga, classic badge of authority, a model 401. And I don't know how old this thing is, but Got a message from Al Buck, but I think it's just the coolest little knife. I've been uh, been with his uncle in a red lobster. He went over to the lobster tank and picked out the biggest lobster he could find. They brought it to the table. <laughs> he whipped this off of his hip. Started agging on it. Anyway, cool knife. Nice of him to give it to. My nephew too. Now here's one that uh, I bought off of eBay actually. It's a Western W36 hunting knife. And I uh, I made the sheath for it. That's a cool little hunting knife. This is one I made, 1084. I believe that's a maple handle, maple coral, 
burl, not burl, but curl, a flamed maple. And it's got uh, brass and uh, epoxy filled pins. Oyster knife. It's got a uh, G10 handle, and it's heavy, man. You could use it as a, <laughs> as a weapon for sure. Made a sheath for it as well. Uh, here's one of my early efforts as a hunter. G10 liners, that's an olive wood handle. Here's another one. I'm not sure what that handle is, to be honest with you. I'd have to go back to my records and look it up. Brass guard, G10 liner. There's a little utility knife. Brass pins, G10 handle, G10 liners. One of my first kitchen knives. Call that a long paring knife. It's a good size, good size little knife for the kitchen. I've never used it. It's never even had an edge put on it yet. So it sits in the knife collection drawer. Let's look at some uh, some projects that are in the process of being made. This is a a razor, a prototype for a razor that I started on. Got the jimping on the handle. Little whale tail. You should hold it. Something like that. Cause that's just a prototype. I need to need to do some work to it. More projects that I've never completed. This is a 1084 chopper. Need to finish that up. That'd be a cool knife. Chop ping pong or golf balls in half. Here's another little mini cleaver I found in the shop that needs to be heat treated, put a handle on. I've got a bunch of heat treated blanks that I sent off to Peter's heat treating. There's a Gaito that I need to finish up. A little petty. I like these little petties. Nikiri. Japanese style knives. Got a little paring knife. He treated, ready to be ground. And of course, you've seen that chest knife. Bob Kramer type chefs. And we've got some a little small, this is a little folder. I don't know what that is. That's, that's, I can tell that's 1084, but this a little util utility knife I need to finish up. Call this. Got some rust to build. I can tell it's 1084 because it's starting to rust. Here's some knives that I've finished up that are for sale. This is a uh, little friction folder, solid stainless, it's a uh, AEBL stainless, and that's for sale, then you look down in the description you'll see my Etsy site where I post some of these knives, there's a Japanese petty with a, a drawer sheath, leather drawer sheath, Got a uh, maple, flame maple handle, black African bolster with G10 uh, liners or spacers, I guess you'd call them. But that is a beautiful little knife. And again, it's for sale. You can look in the Etsy site and see that one. Last but not least, we've got this guy too. It's got a cool little uh, compass rose carving on the on the drawer. Sheath. Uh, 
not sure what handle material that is. I'd have to look that up. You can look on the Etsy site. It's for sale. I'll tell you what that is. I think that's alder. That's black African. And it's got a G10 and a brass spacer. And it's a beautiful kitchen knife. Really thin. We've, we've rounded over all the choil and the spine. Really comfortable. Excellent knife. And it's for sale. Along with the, the sheath. Alright, well that's about it. I think we'll wrap it up there. That's what I could find in my shop. If you're a knife maker, how about dig around your shop, dig out some knives, shoot a video, we'll upload it to YouTube, show us what you got. I'd be curious. Leave a link down in the comments. Thanks very much.